We are cooking with you this morning. Kathy Foster from Wilderness Springs Trout Farm is with us this morning. Uh, thank you for coming. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I know you're going to show us um, how to pan fry some trout here, but first let's kind of set the scene for our viewers of what your trout farm is all about. We have some pictures. Tell us what you do there. Okay. Well, we actually hatch all the eggs and we raise all our own trout. We buy the eggs, then they're either eyed and we hatch them and we raise them so we know exactly where our fish are coming from. We've been doing this since 1974. It's mm -hmm. a family-run fish farm. My dad started as a hobby back in the late six or early 60s, so we've continued that tradition on. And we raise rainbow trout. Okay, and do you, so do, then do you just sell to like restaurants throughout the area? Do people come there to fish? We have public fishing May through September. We're open weekends um, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we also do live delivery. A lot of people have their own ponds and they like to go out and and fish their fish and put different types of uh, trout or panfish or whatever in their ponds and go catch their own meal. Yeah, so I'd imagine you, you've gotten pretty good at, at cooking trout over the years. I've cooked a few. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us what you have here, what we should look for in the freshness of a fish. Okay, this is a typical size, well, for pan frying it's a typical size. I like them a little bit bigger uh, for baking and such. But what you want to look for is a nice firm flesh and that the eyes are nice and clear. You don't want anything that's mm -hmm. not cloudy at all. That kind of denotes the fish has been out, uh, you know, the water for a few days. Right. So when I cook them, when I pan fry them, I take the heads off. Do you just literally just, I mean, not to get graphic, do you literally just cut it? Cut it right off. Cut it okay. right off. Got it. Yep. So this is all I do. I have a batter that I made up. It's my mom's recipe. It's tried and true. She has cooked many more fish than I ever did mm -hmm. and it's it's just simply bisquick with salt and pepper and other seasonings. The thing you want to make sure is to get the inside of the cavity coated very get well. the inside in there mm -hmm. too, okay. To See I wouldn't inside. have known that I guess. Yeah, get the inside and the outside coated and then just kind of shake the excess off. Mm -hmm. Now this pan is probably pretty hot so it may sizzle pretty good. There we go. And how long on each side then? Oh a couple minutes. Couple it doesn't minutes. take very long at all. And you'll see that um, it will brown up very nicely. Okay. And I have one here that I've cooked ahead of time so you can kind of see what they should look like. And you leave, I mean, the skin right on there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to scale it, though. No, you, you don't. Do, there, you don't? No, okay. there are such tiny, tiny scales They're on so trout. They're so little, okay. Even, yeah. So you leave all, and I suppose all that, you know, the skin and everything has lots of flavor packed in there. It's excellent, yes. It has a lot of nutrients in it also. Mm -hmm. um, you can take the skin off to eat it. You don't have to eat it with the skin on, of course, but yeah. um, it's just make it, makes it nice for yeah. frying. Um, you can fillet them. These are kind of small for filleting. Mm -hmm. Deep frying them, it's kind of hard because the flesh is so, um, well, uh, what do I say? It falls apart easily yeah. when you deep fry it. Sure. So um, it's best to pan fry it or bake it mm -hmm. or you know grill yeah. it, something like that. So. Well, it makes a really beautiful presentation, and she's going to stick around with us um, in our next hour. You're going to show us a, a baking recipe. Yes. Yes. For, I have one in trout. the oven now, and hopefully the oven will have it done by the time the segment I'm, is ready to I'm go. I'm sure it will. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Kathy, thank you so much, and we're going to get her recipes online. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much.